of my family still kind of lives here. Um, but I'll show you what it, this is basically just before I, I moved to Somerset. This is, you know, my life. Um, I can still kind of remember things around here and, you know, some people probably passed away and moved on or something like that. But I know uh, in this, I think it was this brown house right here. Uh, that guy for Halloween one year gave me quarters. He asked how many quarters you wanted. I just said one, but he gave me about two dollars worth of quarters. And uh, it's just been beautiful. But uh, huh. this is where I used to live. It was uh, oh right there. That's my old house, and actually. <laughs> They used to be blue. Uh, I don't really want to scare the neighbors or anything, but I might pull up around here. Um, maybe I'll just try to look like I'm looking at something here. But, uh, yeah, so that was my old house right there. Um, and I don't know. My room was... Right down, uh, well, I don't know, right up on top where that, uh, that arced window, arch window is or whatever. I kept the plants, they changed the siding, it used to be blue. But, uh, yeah, and, um, right down there is the school, and if you can believe it or not, my mom would not let me walk to school. It was the one thing I wanted to always do in my life, was walk to school. Some of the greatest neighbors in the world on either side of this house, and same thing with their families. Yeah, people across the street aren't too, uh, too awesome, but, yeah, so that's that whole thing. Uh, I don't know, hopefully I don't, hopefully my neighbors don't actually come out. They're supposed to be, like, somewhere in Alaska usually, but, uh, um, yeah, I had a ton of friends around here, and I kind of miss that place quite a bit. Um, yeah, but my grades are suffering, I mean, I... We had a class of, like, well, we had two teachers per classroom, if I could skills to show you how overpopulated it was. These were my neighbors here, the Harviews. They had uh, a son named Chris. There used to be a goalpost right there. They filled it with trees. But uh, I'd go out there and play goalie. They didn't really want to play with me, but uh, so I was just a younger kid. They were a little bit older, but now they're son and daughter and live there. So yeah, I, can't, I might not be able to walk to school, but I'm going to ride to school. Hell yeah, oh, do not enter. Oh, it's just on that spot. Yeah. Yeah, look, I mean, look at this. I don't even think it'd be 100 steps and I'd be on the school property already. <laughs> it's good to see they're still doing stuff here. So, right there was the uh, the backstops. I hated, hated, hated the backstops. We had to run from that one, and there was one. There was one there, and they, they used to have one over there, but uh, that one's taken out. But no, it used to be right here actually, right directly in front, where all that patch of grass and stuff was kind of bare. I could never do it. Couldn't make it around from starting to the back to the end. It's funny because we used to climb that thing too and they would always yell at us to get down. <laughs> um, and then back there was a hill we used to go sledding down. I never could. The one day I tried to, I mean I have asthma and stuff. It's like sports induced supposedly. It sucks. But uh, one time I almost made it all the way around. I kind of walked and I was the last one to come give the teacher a high five and she just put her hand down. <laughs> Not the last one. There were the people behind me walking but I tried to run and could not do it so I 
God, if they had my hand up, I was kind of smiling. She just put it down. <laughs> she put her hand down, but you know what? I think she turned out to be a lesbian, so. Yeah, couldn't be good. Wasn't good enough for men. So. Yep. That's that whole area. So, yeah, this is, uh, this was my old school. I mean, 30 to 40 some kids per classroom, two, uh, two teachers per classroom, and, uh, this place got completely shut down. It was, um, it's a bus station now and something else, apparently. Transition program. No idea what the hell that is, but, yeah, some old stomping grounds. Ugh. Oh god, those swings. <laughs> you catch so much air on those swings, it was ridiculous. Uh, that was just the playground was installed after I left, and of course now there's uh, some sort of gang sign on there. So, White Bear has kind of gone down the hill. Good people are still here, but not as many as there should be. Used to be the gym, everything. Yeah. Here's a kind of a little shore view scene. Look how far back this water is down now. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah, uh, that's the podcast for uh, the, the podcast. Well, what am I talking about? That's the vlog entry for now. Um, check back. I'm going to see maybe if uh, one of my co-workers and uh, friends of mine, uh, Brian, can uh, help teach me how to do a wheelie. I've done a wheelie before on a, I've done a wheelie before on a, uh, you know, YZ250F. I used to race, but at the same time, it's completely different from, almost completely different from a, your typical uh, oh, boy, here's someone's got a tennis court. You think they're doing good? You know, I mean, it's completely t different from uh, a road bike. The position's different. At least it feels different. So, yeah. Uh, tune in next time to watch me possibly crash and die. Later. <laughs>